What is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is actually another screen shield install. Now, last time I did a screen shield install, that was the SGP Steinhall Crystal Clear. I believe that was the exact name for it for the iPod Touch 5th generation. And the only reason why I revealed that screen shield, even though I know every screen shield is going to get scratched, is because uh, of the details that they had on the packaging or on their website. And I was figuring, you know, maybe use it for a few days, let you guys know how I feel about it. And if you, if you guys saw the video, you guys already know the results. So I wasn't sure if I misunderstood the advertisement at the time, but as you can see, you know, it looked like SGP didn't really keep their word, but the screen shield was still good though. It just wasn't worth uh, paying like 13 or 14 bucks uh, just for a pack with two screen shields on it that basically does the same thing as a normal screen shield that costs you like two bucks or something. So what I did in this video is actually a screen shield install on the iPhone 4. Excuse me. And this is actually a screenshot that came with this Switch Easy Capsule Rebel case for the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S. So this screen shield was a Switch Easy screen shield and nothing special to it. You know, it was just a regular screen shield. I replaced my OtterBox screen shield that I had on here previously with a Switch Easy screen shield. And I already have it installed right there as you can see. And so far, you know, it looks nice. I just like any other screen shield, what I definitely like about this is it covers everything. The OtterBox one left like an opening up here for the proximity sensor, but the proximity sensor still works with the screen shield on it. Alright, so what I'm going to do in this video is just to uh, show you guys another screen shield install and hopefully you know, you'll enjoy and hopefully I improved a lot uh, versus the other time I installed the screen shield. Alright, so that's it. Alright guys, so in this video, like I said before, I am going to be installing the Switch Easy Screen Shield. And like I said, this came with the Switch Easy Capsule Rebel. So these are like any standard screen shield that you would get with your case. You know, whatever cases you have. You know, Switch Easy still does this with their cases, whether it's the iPhone 5, 5S, 4, 4S. And as you can see, I just removed the OtterBox Screen Shield and it left a lot of residue, which... I've never seen before when I removed the screen shield before and uh, when I was cleaning it up it was a little bit hard to get off like it did take some pressure to put on it and it did take some time so but this screen shield has been left on there for two years so I guess when I was like uh, taking the screen shield off so many times it might have been for a shorter period uh, plus the device might have not been used so much this device was used a lot you know, uh, even before I got it, and then and he just left the screen shield on there, like the original owner. And now, what I am doing is lining up my Switch Easy screen shield to see, or check the dimensions, check how I'm going to apply it, so that way it's not a little bit off there, and then too much over there. And the screen was completely clean, and make sure there are no dust uh, on your phone or your screen because once the dust is underneath the bubble, I mean, excuse me, underneath the screen shield, it's gonna leave a ball right, bubble right there and you're gonna have to take it off, all right? And with the Switch Easy screen shields, you have one side where you peel uh, the first one off and then you peel the second one off after uh, applying. And they're numbered, so they're numbered one and two. They also make some where, or manufacturers also make screen shields where there aren't any tabs but with the tabs, it'll guide you or tell you which way you should be going and which order you should be going. And as you can see, I'm lining it up with the earpiece, like the speaker for your ear, and then the front-facing camera. What I do like about this screen shield versus the Otter Box is that at the where the proximity sensor was located, the Otter Box, I don't know why they left the cutout over there. The, the sensor was still able to be used with the screen shield over it. And plus, I just think this is a cleaner work, so a cleaner look. So it just depends on your um, your preference. For me, I prefer it to be covered up. Maybe even the front facing camera to be covered up because the camera is not sticking out. Like you can't feel the camera like the back uh, of the iPhone 4 or the 4S or any iPhone in general. 
because the front facing camera is like uh, underneath the screen. And as you can see, I'm just working out these air bubbles. I'm using the squeegee that came with the case to use the screen protector. And if you can't get the bubbles out, then try using your thumb or your finger. And I ran into an issue right here where I have a, a piece of dust underneath. So uh, therefore, it gave me a bubble. And what I'm using right now is some scotch tape. And I'm using scotch tape to lift up the screen shield. And I'm using another piece of scotch tape so I can take the dust off that's underneath. Which is a very good tip. And while you're doing this, you want to be careful that you don't get any more dust uh, back in there. That's why they say it's always best to do these screen shield installs in a dust-free environment. And for my case, I got an area where it's mostly dust-free, but not completely dust-free, 100%. But it wasn't too bad. And I'm just going to get rid of these bubbles here. And I'm getting rid of the bubbles before I peel off the second tab. Because by peeling off the second tab, then there reveals your actual screen shield. Now this protective film will help me protect the other one from scratches. Uh, before I start uh, using my phone hardcore like I always do. And I'm just moving everything out. Alright. And then I just skipped on to the process of removing it. And you want to be careful. Sometimes you'll remove the first tab all in one shot. Sometimes you'll remove the screen shield with it. If that happens, just be careful. Just drop it back down. And then try to peel it up with one finger or one hand. And then push uh, on the actual screen shield so it does not lift up. So I'm going to lift it up slowly here and as you can see the screen shield started lifting it up. Then I use one finger to hold it down and then it is coming off. Alright and then if you have a bubble still that you know you can get off and that piece is very flimsy once you remove it and then just use a squeegee or your finger to remove it you know, just put it, push it towards the edge of the screen. Some bubbles, you can't remove it uh, with the squeegee or your finger. So it's best that you have to let it sit for a day or two and the bubble will go away, which actually did happen to me. And there's the OtterBox screen shield, which looks ugly and with all the fingerprints and scratches on it. So there you And there you have it, guys. That's my screen shield install of the SwitchyZ screen shield for the iPhone 4 and... and the iPhone 4S, you can consider that physically, and I'm not going to do a review of the screen shield. Why? Because pretty much every screen shield works. It just depends on which ones you get. The glossy finish, the anti-clear, or you get like the full body kit with some alcohol solution on it. Such as the ones made by bodyguards, clear coat, or invisible shield. Because you got the bodyguards, you got the clear coat. And then you have the Zag, uh, well, I don't know what they call it, the, Z the Zag body kit, or, no. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I got that mixed up. The company name is Zag, but the product is called Invisible Shield. I hope I got those right. <laughs> so, it just basically depends on which one you uh, want, and what's your preference, and what you're looking for. Alright, this is just fine. I mean, because any screen shield is better than no screen shield at all. Alright, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.